Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Valeria and this is the Off-Road Ranch, as usual. The further I go with my project, the more amazing and new things I meet. Albeit unusual, extremely complex and expensive. So, after thinking and planning, I realized that I need a trailer. Acquiring it will both complicate my life and require financial investments, because currently I have a lot of tasks and expenses. But at the same time, buying a trailer will greatly facilitate my work and save me a lot of money and give me responsibility for the result I will have. And this means the ability to influence the situation in order to get what I need. And this will give me peace of mind, because I don't need to swear at other people if they do their work poorly or don't do it at all. So, what factors necessitated the purchase of a trailer and its further repair and modernization? First, I will leave them briefly, and then we will consider each item separately. I need a trailer because it increases functionality and removes a number of restrictions on the transportation of large volumes of light weight. It is cost-effective and beneficial solution. It minimizes the risks I will talk about later. It gives me more autonomy and independence in moving materials anytime and anywhere. It provides more safety for the Jeep if talking about weight. It removes a number of restrictions on current capacity for the passenger category. It gives more safety on the road. It allows to store tools inside it and not on the site in the open area during construction. Let's look at each item in more detail to understand why it is important. Perhaps you are going to start construction soon and I will tell you why buying a trailer is profitable and economical. Capacity limit. The luggage compartment of the Jeep is a little bit more than 2200 liters if the seats and a gas tank are removed. The gas tank actually reduces usable space much more than its size itself, as it creates wasted empty space in front, above and behind the tank. So, in fact, in total more than 40% of the space is lost. Even taking into account that after the modernization of the Jeep it will have an expedition trunk, this place is not enough, since all this place is planned to be taken for the necessary equipment, which will be in the Jeep or on the Jeep almost all the time. None of this can be left somewhere for storage, since the equipment makes it possible for self-evacuation, autonomy existence and repair in the field. In addition, some material and tools will not fit regardless of the presence of a gas tank and an expedition trunk or their absence, since the size of the Jeep is simply not enough. In addition, some materials and tools, or for example liquids, are simply forbidden to be transported in the presence of gas equipment as ignition risks will be created. Since I will transport lots of material and tools to the site myself, the increased volume plays a huge role. The cost of the trailer will pay off in the initial stages within a few months. When I say the costs, I include there the purchase, repair and modernization. Repair will be necessary since a used trailer will be in any case not in perfect condition. And even if I decide to buy a new trailer, it still needs to be upgraded. Modernization will include strengthening the bottom, strengthening the walls and fasteners, the presence of sides so that material and bottles stand in accordance with safety regulations if necessary. I told about transportation in the vehicle in the video number 8 about industrial security and labor safety. Also modernization will include changing wheels. Firstly, it is necessary that they correspond with those installed on the main car with which they will be used in tandem. And secondly, the diameter of the wheels also must be the same, so that the bearings of the axles do not wear out much faster due to excessive load on them. 
It will also increase stability and distribute the load more evenly. Also, wheels must pass through the mud and dirt so that the jeep is not loaded even more while towing an empty trailer, for example. I don't plan to change the engine yet. And I know that the engine that I have now, that is with a volume of 4 liters, will tow up to 3 tons even on difficult and uneven roads with careful operation. And it is better to carry 3 tons carefully and conduct a technical inspection periodically than to operate it for maximum for years without checks, without technical maintenance and without changing necessary fluids and filters. In this case, even off-road and competitions are not needed to kill the agent, since it all depends on the driver and how omnipotent he considers himself. The trailer must hold at least 550 kilograms of cargo and 6 cubic meters of volume. The Jeep holds 600 kilograms of cargo and 1.4 cubic meters of volume with size restrictions. For most construction heavy cargo of large volumes, I need to order special large equipment. The trailer has a different task. I will carry quite voluminous but relatively light things on it, or things that need to be brought one time and not carried constantly. For example, it can be a generator, a plastic summer shower and a toilet, small construction equipment such as drills, concrete mixers, various tools and so on. It can be dry building mixes, construction adhesives, a few building blocks that were not enough and so on. I want to buy a single axle trailer because I have experience in operating such trailers with cars of a similar class. I don't need permission or an additional category in the driving license. And there is no need to pay taxes on public roads. Using a trailer is especially convenient if I need to bring something quickly and without fuss. I can go anytime and any day of the week. I don't need to arrange a rental truck because, for example, during the construction season, goods must be ordered in advance and rental equipment must be ordered in advance. And the moment of shipment of the goods must coincide with the time when the driver can pick up the goods and bring them to the site. And the main thing is that on my trailer I can go to the right place on the site as close as possible and not get stuck in the mud. Of course, with constant loads you will have to make repairs periodically. You may have to change some parts of the car and the trailer more often. But with constant maintenance and timely replacement of parts of the Jeep and the trailer, even large and expensive ones, this will come out dozens of times cheaper than if I order a truck every time. Especially since I will use a trailer for many years. At least until the end of the construction of the house. But there will be new tasks further. That's why I talked how important the purpose of buying a car is in the video number 9. Driving through difficult terrain in general requires an experienced driver who can assess the risks and choose the right route, speed and driving style. I had a case when a manipulator weighing 11 tons arrived at a construction site. And despite repeated warnings and instructions from my experienced colleagues, the driver considered himself the smartest and went where he thought he should go. As a result, he broke the cable from the effort, got stuck in the mud, and we spent 15 hours pulling out the manipulator in the pouring rain at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit. We could have left him because it was entirely his fault, but we are sympathetic people. I was driving around the district for 15 hours, urgently trying to find a transport that would be able to pull it out somehow. I thought I would have to go to the road workers for 100 kilometers to ask for special equipment, since the driver, after putting the car in the mud, still considered himself the smartest and drowned the manipulator almost to the middle of the bottom. 
and not a single chapter could pull it out. Moreover, men often consider themselves smarter than women and do not listen to them, since they believe that they are always allowed to do everything they want and they will always succeed. So, in addition to this machine, two more tractors got stuck in the mud. As a result, at 10 pm, all of them managed to get out of the mud somehow. And after that, they tried to make me guilty and demand compensation for the time and the cost of evacuation, despite the fact that he was completely to blame. Not to mention that I had a lot of work in my plans that day, and definitely not a party under rain in the wild cold from 7 am to 11 pm. But no, you need to know your rights, agreements, read contracts carefully and be able to defend yourself and not agree to all the demands of arrogant, greedy and stupid people. In part, I talked how it is important to protect yourself in the video number 7 about information security. Such situations show perfectly why any transport, equipment and tools must be in excellent condition, why it is necessary to use the right transport for right functionality, and why there should be an adequate driver and manager who could assess the risks and not put his ego above performance tasks. And I see that the same situation can happen in my area easily. Moreover, this happens in many places, since very often the construction conditions are unfavorable in many areas. And this doesn't mean that a person had thought out his purchase poorly and bought something out of stupidity. So, we have considered how a trailer helps to transport large volumes of light weight effectively. We considered the economic feasibility of buying and using it and increasing independence from truck load, the construction season and force measure. Still, this doesn't mean that the sun will always shine for me and the road will be smooth and dry. This doesn't mean that I myself will be always able to carry everything I need and that nothing will ever break and that I will never get stuck in the mud with materials. But a jeep and a trailer will make my work much more convenient. Creating something beautiful with your own hands is one of the goals and means of humanity. Beautiful not only visually, but in meaning, content and benefits for human and nature. Now let's move on to the weight limit and ride safety. There are restrictions on carrying capacity and weight not only for each model of the car, but for various categories of cars in general. Since I said in previous videos that I want my car to be classified as category B after the upgrade, I have no right to load it so that its total load capacity is more than 2500 kg. As I said, I have category C and I can drive a track, but this impose restrictions on public roads because if I load the car more than a certain mass, I simply cannot move in some places and I won't be able to drive in a Category C car on some streets in the city due to restrictions in traffic laws. In addition, re-registration of the category will take a lot of time and money. And generally, there is no guarantee that the car will be registered in the new category and I won't be sad that it hinders traffic safety. In addition, the Jeep will still belong to the category of cars one way or another. No matter how I modernize it, strengthen the body, make larger wheels, a more powerful agent, more stable suspension, and a more massive safety cage, it still will have an adequate load limit that will be safe. The safety is as follows. Driving safety for the driver. Driving in dry and sunny weather is easy and pleasant even with a large vehicle weight. But in snow, slush, ice, fog and other difficult weather conditions and road conditions, even an experienced driver will face difficulties and besides, of course, he will get very tired. And deadlines are very often pressed and very often there is not enough time, which can lead to inattention and haste, which in any way will lead to disastrous consequences. Safety also lies in how the car can withstand the weight. 
Firstly, a driver or a loader himself can distribute the weight unevenly or shift the center of gravity of a jeep critically. Secondly, even with a reinforced trunk and body and a well secured load, a redistribution of the load, displacement of materials, a shift in the center of gravity can occur in difficult conditions which can lead to catastrophic consequences. Breaking the metal of the body, overturning the car on a turn and much more serious consequences. Safety also applies to driving on public roads. Despite the fact that the Jeep and the trailer seem to be a more dangerous combination than just a Jeep, this pair has great advantages. Such a pair will always attract more attention of drivers. It will drive in the extreme right lane without haste and without sudden maneuvers. No one will have a desire to touch and provoke a jeep with a trailer. Drivers will be more careful than if it is just a jeep. Although the jeep itself is already an impressive and heavy car, some drivers can honk due to speed and haste, overtake and cut it off. Someone can try to compete or teach a girl how to drive big cars. Many people do not understand the slugginess weight and inertia of large vehicles. And if the Jeep is loaded up to 2.5 tons instead of the usual own weight of 1.5 tons, then in a collision or an accident, only a large flattened piece of metal and a puddle of biological fluids will remain from the other participant in the accident. Based on the volume of work that I plan, I will have to buy a trailer as soon as possible. To do this, I need to figure out where to get the funds from, because the purchase and modernization will cost me around $2,000. In its original state, without modernization, it will be almost useless, because it will break down at the first load of road. In part, the characteristics of the trailer determine how the Jeep will be upgraded and what weight and traction the body, the tow bar, the engine and wheels will be designed for. I want to see more like-minded people and support around. I want more people to lead an active life so that we could share each other's interests and activities. Despite the fact that it is difficult, it is very interesting, and constant efforts on oneself lead to self-development. But most importantly, this cure many diseases, bad mood and lack of strength and energy. And these are main diseases of our time. If you really feel frustration and do not understand the reason, then I recommend watching my videos about work-life balance and proper nutrition. There I reveal the side of how our body works. And starting from this knowledge, you can move forward and look for ways to improve your well-being. Believe me, pills, drugs, blues on the couch and trying to escape from yourself will not solve your problems. These things artificially increase your well-being and you pretend that there is no problem. But it is. But regular physical exercise, good nutrition, stable principles set goals and movement towards them will help you to become happier. You will start to feel much better if you start to create something beautiful in this world. I wish you to be creators and you, please, wish me to buy a trailer as soon as possible and start upgrading it. Subscribe to my channel, put likes, support me in ways available to you. It was Valeria, the Off-Road Range. Wish you all the best and see you soon.